click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have discussed about the group entry in elements as well as we have also discussed about the occurrence of group entry in elements and now in this topic we are going to talk about the trends in the physical properties of group entry in elements. So what are those? Let me talk about that in this topic. So friends, we understand that is this are known as group 18 elements are basically known as noble gases or they are also known as inert gases and that's the reason that the physical state of all these elements are basically gaseous in nature. They are basically orderless as well as they are tasteless and they all are basically monoatomic in nature. And talking about the other gases like suppose if I'm talking about Cl2, so Cl2 it is basically a diatomic gas while talking about this group 18 elements, this group 18 elements are basically monoatomic gas. So talking about the next one that is atomic radian. So it is very much clear to understand that is as we move from top to bottom that is from helium to radon. So in that case we will get to know that is the atomic size it will go on increasing. The reason behind that is the number of shell also it increases that is from helium to radon and that's the reason that the atomic size also increases. But here the atomic radius is nothing but van der Waal radius and this is because of the intermolecular force of attraction between those gas molecules and now let me talk about the other point and that is ionization enthalpy. So talking about ionization enthalpy, we understand that is these are the very stable gas molecules and that's the reason to remove an electron from its outermost shell is very much difficult. So suppose if we compare it with halogen series, so in that case we'll get to know that is to remove the electron from those halogen series is quite easy compared to that of to remove the electron from this noble gas elements. So because of the stable electronic configuration and because of the atomic size and because of the other properties we can find that is the ionization enthalpy from helium to radon it decreases as we move down the group. The reason behind is because of the atomic size. So therefore this was the trend in physical properties of ionization enthalpy and now let me talk about the next one that is electron gain enthalpy. So friends we clearly understand that is this is basically the group 18 elements or basically also known as noble gas elements. So that's the reason that they don't need an electron or they can't lose electron. So that's the reason that to remove the electron or to gain a particular electron is very much difficult and that's the reason that this noble gases or this group 18 elements have a very large positive electron gain enthalpy and this is what I want to discuss about. And now let me talk about the other properties also. So the other properties that is I'm going to talk about is melting point and boiling point. So friends, we know that is due to its atomic size and obviously because of the van der Waal force of attraction. So they form a very weak van der Waal force of attraction. And that's the reason that if we move from that is down, that is from helium to radon, the atomic size increases. And that's the reason behind that, that the van der Waal force of attraction, it will increase and because of the atomic size. And that's the reason that the melting point or the boiling point also increases that is from helium to radon. So this was related to the melting point and boiling point. And now let me talk about the next one that is solubility in water. So friends, now let me talk about the solubility in water. So it has been found that is this noble gases are least soluble in water and suppose if I consider an example like helium, helium is the most least soluble gas in water. But as we understand that is as we move from that is from helium to radon the atomic size increases and obviously because of that the van der Waal force also the attraction of the van der Waal force it also increases. So thereby there is a force of attraction between the water molecule which is having a dipole character and this are basically induced dipole. So this is how basically a dipole and induced dipole interaction it occurs and that is how basically because of the increase in atomic size the solubility also increases. So that is from helium to radon the solubility is increasing but it is not that much soluble in water so therefore this was related to a property uh, depending on the solubility. And now let me talk about the next one that is liquefaction tendency. So since I have discussed earlier that is as we move from top to bottom that is from helium to radon the solubility of those gases actually increases so depending on that only we have got to know that is the liquefaction tendency of this noble gases or this group 18 elements also increases as we move that is from top to bottom so this is nothing but the trends in the physical properties of group 18 elements and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much